What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the latest test server session in War Robots with three new weapons from the same category G Claw, Talon, and Jaw. Three rocket launchers with the following description, okay? Um, light rocket launcher designed for close combat. It has an improved target lock on system. There's some grammatics. Uh, and good blast radius. But main feature is this lock rocket launcher is special ammo effects that hits the target with a rust effect and makes the target more vulnerable. Very interesting. Each stack of these negative effects decrease robot durability recovered by 1% and effective defense points by 0.67%. So it, it has a bit of a similar effect to what the Sonic weapons have, but it's a 350 meter range rocket launcher with a fixed reload and a slight target lock on uh, or auto aiming like the bendy bullets, but smaller, I think. Let's jump into the gameplay, test this. Also, by the way, I will make a separate video uh, where we compare this to Exodus, right? The big rocket launchers uh, for for that we have Exodus and Orkins in comparison to this new weapon and see how it does. So we're starting off with a Typhon here on the test server uh, to see how this weapon does. We have a, a good variety of different mixed setups here with us. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is how it fires, guys and guys, guys and gals. Uh, it looks like the Explo effect weapons, right? Yeah, it looks a little bit like it, but um, it, it, it fires different for a very long time, apparently, and then it has this fixed reload, which is pretty good. Fixed reload is means it's an up-to-date weapon. Old weapons had a continuous reload and took forever to recharge, same as you see now on Snare, Skadi, and uh, Hail, right? And here we have a weapon with a fixed reload that means it maintains high DPS even over a long period of time. So... What do we have here? Can I shoot around the corner? Yeah, I can hit him. Look. I can banana the shots around the corner. Pshu! Got him. And then we're hitting him. Wow. So there is a rust effect or whatever it's called. And it will decrease his ability to repair his HP. Uh, ever so slightly. I don't think it's a crazy... Ooh, hey. Dude. Go away. Oh, I accidentally... No, wait. Did I just accidentally hit the wrong guy? Okay, uh, he's gonna he's gonna do his effect thingy now. There it is. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, heal through that. Then I'm gonna disable him. Yep, it worked. He's disabled now, and uh, we can take him down in two. One, here we go. Come on, last stand, go away. Nice. Also, I think with these weapons, yeah, you can shoot over cover a little bit. You see this? I'm hitting the Ares or whatever it is behind the co cover, which is pretty awesome. Um. Got him. Oh, no, he just entered his ability. I was just about to disable his uh, his new robot uh, before he got into this. What's the robot called? Uh, I forgot. Come on, come out of here, dude. All right, let's disable him instead. Pew! Okay, got him. Oh, he must have had anti-control. Oh, no, he's got a physical shield. I forgot for a second. Oh, no, they're both doing this now. Look, they're both doing this now. Ew. But I have a splash effect, so I can double my firepower effectively. Pew! Got this guy uh, this time. They have a bit of a problem with my energy shield. You can see it recharges so quick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the prisma hit hurts, though. The prisma hurts. Wow, we have a lot of dudes here in one place. What are you guys doing there? You're all hanging out. Oh, somebody has the, the newer Explo shotguns. By the way, the Explo shotguns, they are still more brawly. They're still more dangerous. These weapons here are a bit more tricky with this homing ability and have a little bit more range than the Explo shotguns do. I got... Oh, what the heck? Dude, I just disabled your ability, man. You shouldn't be able to walk around. Okay. Oh, no, I need to heal up. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, come on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, and boom, catch him in. Disabling his ability. He's gonna get the next ability charge any second now, but I have my full energy shield back And I can airstrike him, but come on. Yeah, nice job airstrike Very good. So that is just the uh, The version we're using is now the uh, medium version, right? It's called jaw There is the talon which is the heavy version for behemoth Which we're gonna see here in this video too because I'm running it right after uh, and then there is the claw, which is a smaller version. It's actually rather nice and easy to remember which one is which. Talon sounds like the super big 
uh, dangerous thing. Oh, come on, man. Every You just look at him and they trigger their ability. I really try to play skillful and tricky here. Forget it, man. They trigger their ability as soon as you just lay their, your eyes on them. Very annoying. I was just gonna do a good job here, disabling his ability with with the, the robot before he gets into his flight. Caught him here, though. He's disabled now. Um, trying to... Oh, nice, nice job, dudes. Uh-oh, they brought Titans already. Oh, no. But the Titan has a hard time going through my, um, through my defense system here. My energy shoot is gonna protect me. Even from the striker shots. Especially from the striker shots, because the striker has a really hard time... Um, ah, come on. Now he's starting to reflect already. Okay. I'm trying to disable him here. Suppressing him. Healing up. Come on. Yeah, we're doing a good amount of damage to him there. Also, again, we're uh, applying the whatever rust effect thingy. You, there's no visual effect to it, though. Although, wait, maybe it's a thing above him that looks a little bit like corrosion. Hey, you don't teleport back, son. Ah, he did. He did. He did teleport back. Uh, even though I, I taunted him and said, son, he still teleported back. I can't believe it. Okay, the striker really, as you can see here, the striker really is a hard time just doing anything again against the Typhon. The striker is a great... Oh, yeah, here, Ar Orion Battleship. That's it for you, bro buddy. Boom! Wait, who's shooting me? Eh, dude. Not cool. Not cool. <laughs> so, what do you think about these new weapons, ladies and gentlemen? Um, I, I, you know, it's a basically... They could just go and fix Exodus and Orkans, of course. They could just go and do that. By giving Exodus and Orkans instead of a continuous reload, they could give it a fixed reload. And they, they would basically implement the same weapon as they just do it here. But as we know, Pixonic does not like to buff and improve old weapons. Instead, they just release new weapons that replace the old and just do the same thing that the others do, just in a little more up-to-date version with a, con with a fixed reload. Right, that's what's going on. And it's a, a pretty unfortunate thing because it means... Ah, I'm blinded now. Ah, come on. Ugh. Because it means that uh, the Exodus and Orkins will still remain useless. And that's very unfortunate. Uh, they, they don't need to bring a new weapon. They all, all they need to do is basically just give Exodus and Orkins, uh, an, instead of a continuous slow reload, a fixed reload of 5 seconds. Full clip, back, boom, you're back in business with these weapons. And there would not be new, a reason for a new weapon instead, right? Um, but that's not how Pixonic rolls. Um, they, they, they build something new. And also, if you have seen it, the, the optics of these new weapons, it's very similar to the new robot. Dang it, what's the name of this robot? Um, that we just fought so many times uh, with the blinding and the uh, face shifting thing. Uh, we jump into another match immediately because I want to uh, to see how or show you how the behemoth works um, and uh, how strong the heavy versions of them are. For this, this match has to end, but I want to see the stats screen. Is the match going to end? Yes, it is going to end. Let's see how much damage we've done with this one Typhon robot that I was somehow able to play throughout the entire battle pretty much. Pretty cool. Uh, also, we have the new Yamantau map. I got 2.2 million damage out, which is not bad for level 8 equipment on the test server. Um, so, uh, and we also have new feature. If you send a robot into your hangar, like this, you swap it out for a different robot, it will tell you... Okay, it didn't happen here now, uh, but it, there, there is now a system that places all your weapons immediately in... Uh, oh, maybe it's because... I, oh, th this is the angler robot, that's right. Uh, and it tells you that all your weapons will be placed uh, in the in the hangar. Ah, I, I uh, yes, I told the game. Uh, don't worry, I I know. There's a you can hit the checkbox that will tell you. Um, do you want to send it all into your hangar? And then you say yes, and uh, you hit the checkbox. Uh, so you don't have when you send a robot into your uh, into your not used hangar, it will demount all weapons at the same time, right? So that's what I'm trying to say. It's a new thing. Um, that is now in uh, in the test server as well. So it will be a little bit of a quality of life change that will be implemented. Another few we still need, Pixonic, is, for example, uh, uh, you know, like sorting. Sorting your equipment in all of your hangar and all of your weapons. You're looking for the weapons tab. You sort 
all your weapons by what you type in. You open a text window, you type in uh, CA, and you get all weapons that are Cataclysm and, uh, and stuff like this, okay? That start with CA. That's what we need, because the modules and weapons are getting so much by this point, it's really crazy. So, heavy weapon going in now, the Talon, it's called. Uh, it does not aim freely around the corner everywhere. He's going to enter into another ability, isn't he? Nope, I got the kill before he could do it. Very nice. Okay, this time we have uh, either, either Beacon Rush or Domination. I'm not sure which one. Can I hit this guy up there? Yeah, I can. Look. The weapons have the ability to curve a little bit up there. What is this guy? Ah, I see. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage from him. But now he's landing and he's taking a lot of damage from me. Oh my goodness, dude. We're getting deleted here. Yeah, that's my behemoth now. That's what I wanted to show you, ladies and gentlemen. That was the behemoth I wanted to show you. Alright, let's go with this. I don't know how I ended up into a 3-on-1 like this. Out of nowhere, this 3-on-1 happened. <laughs> I was trying to play this behemoth careful and play this throughout the entire match to show you the performance of the heavy version. And I was not allowed to do so because all of a sudden, I ended in absolute death land. Okay, so this guy... Oh, he's capturing our beacon with the Mender Boy. He's probably gonna hop into the next ability any second now. But we also have a heavy talon on here, so at least I can still show you the heavy talon. And this is the angler robot. You may have seen yesterday's video about it. What it can do, it blinds the enemy. When you enter, uh, when you exit the ability, they're blinded. And when you enter ability, what he does right now, everybody around him will take damage, right? That's how. That's how this robot works. He apparently he doesn't know because he didn't get close to me as he was doing his phase shift. If he had gotten close to me, he would have taken some extra damage. So he's doing it now. And I can counter him by coming out. He comes out of his ability and I'm gonna... What the hell? Yo, seriously, man. I was gonna blind him now. And he teleports 50 meters behind me. Yeah, thanks, War Robots. Thanks for the lag. Um, because you, you exit, the, mat uh, you exit the, um, the ability and you will blind everybody around you. Look at these lags, man. Jesus. Okay. I'm getting hit from the other side. I want to take him down, though. And now we're going into ability. He's act. He's getting hit by my airstrike and coming out. Boom. Yes, I killed him with the angler damage ability. That's what, I want, what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, God. This guy has uh, freezing lasers. Now we can hit him. Ooh, he's going down fast. Okay, okay. I can I can hit this this Orochi in his ability by staying close to him, and then freeze, uh, then blinding him after. Very nice. Healing up. What? Ah, it's an uh, okay, okay. It's a Fafnir. I was I was wait. How how has he got an, uh, this drone shield? All right, let's play the Typhon again. Come around the corner, son. I think it's a uh, it's a Kepri. Oh, I thought he was gonna come around the corner. Yeah, it is a Capri, but he didn't come around the corner. Yo, and that's the strength of these weapons. You see what I'm what I'm talking about is that you have up-to-date weapons now. And um, these weapons are up to date in their function and in their f features. That means they have a slight auto aim, yeah, which fixes the problem that rocket launchers have. The problem that rocket launchers have is they miss shots when people are moving fast, right? That's the big problem from these weapons. And these weapons here fix that problem because they have a slight auto-tracking. So, it's up to date, right? It's basically just nothing other than Exodus with 350 meters more range and up-to-date weapon mechanics such as a fixed reload and such as slight auto-aim. Even added um, with a little bit of a corrosion similar effect or a sonic similar effect. So, it's just Exodus basically um, made, made up to date. It's... it's blatantly just that and nothing other than an updated version of what we already have um, sold new basically right um, and I don't like it because we have weapons that are exist in the game these weapons have their reason to be in the game Wow did I just lose three out of four weapons dude it's just money gaming um, but yeah um, I I'm not happy with this because uh, it's so obvious how they just refuse to update what we have just to sell us some something new not cool, Pixonic. It's too obvious, and it's. I like new weapons. Don't get me wrong, but for weapon, but I want these weapons to actually be new weapons. You know, to actually be new and interesting, and not just copy, copycat what we already have, just to you know, uh, you know. <laughs>
So, we're grilling this guy here. The Minos is still a really powerful robot. Let's drop him. Run into him. There he goes. Still liking the Minos Titan, man. I like that he's so fast. Nimble. He's got Reflector, which is really up to date. Um... Did somebody just shoot behind me? No. Okay. Activating Reflector. Coming in. He's not doing damage to me now. He's taking damage. That's what it's going on. Yes, sir. He's got an... Do you have a new robot? Because I've got the airstrike ready, sir. I would like to use it on you. All right. Anyways, this was the new weapon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Talon, Jaw, and Claw. Jaw, Claw, and Talon. No. Claw is the small one. Claw, jaw, and talon. Now we've got it. Light, medium, heavy. I think. Right? So, uh, yeah. Tell me what you think about these weapons. Tell me if you, um, yeah, also agree that uh, they should just uh, make these weapons something special. Maybe they fire, like, a homing shot above. Because, look, they look like, these weapons look like they would be firing similar to what Noricums do, right? Look how they're angled. It looks like, <laughs> look how they're angled on the angler robot. <laughs> um, it looks like they're um, they're firing high up like Noricums do, right? Give them a special attribute like Noricums or something with a bit of a shorter range maybe if you want, but just make Noricums uh, I I I because, uh, you know, it just give them a little bit similar to a special ability, uh, right? And uh, and just update Nor uh, Orcans, Exodus and Piñatas. Simple as that. And now you have a new weapon that has a reason to exist because it's special and new. Brings in actually new mechanics. Um, and at the same time, you, you'll make another weapon we already have live up to uh, a little bit more of what it could be. Right? Just to bring a solution uh, and a, a suggestion here. But for now, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one and catch you in the next video where I test uh, Behemoth with uh, Talons versus Behemoth with Exodus. Let's see how they compare. See you around. Bye-bye.